Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be another trash talk video. Now, this bin doesn't look really big right now. That's because this is all of, like, my bags from my wax. I have my candles and my Scentsy laid out on the table. I got through a lot of wax, especially a lot of Scentsy and a lot of candles, because there were so many candles I had in my collection that I wanted to use up before the season was over, and... I really just wanted out of my collection. I'm really working on dwindling down my wax and my candle collection. And with Scentsy's Bring Back My Bar, I have quite a few that I melted through and some very easy decisions on whether I want to add them to my club or not. So without further ado, let's get into it. As always, let's go ahead and start with my candles. I only have three Bath & Body Works candles to talk about. The first one was a total miss, and this is Smoked Vanilla Whiskey. This is new this year, and the notes on Smoked Vanilla Whiskey are Dark Oak, Bourbon Reserve, and Smoked Vanilla. Now, I really liked the way that this smelled on cold. On warm, I barely got anything. It's kind of like a boozy, rich vanilla. But on warm, I didn't get anything, and Notorious Bath & Body Works candles, about the halfway point, they just became super low flames, and I literally just let it burn until there was absolutely nothing left of it. So, total miss for me on that one. This is an older packaging of Strawberry Pound Cake. I was just craving some Strawberry Pound Cake in my life, and this never disappoints. As you see, one of the flames did burn a little bit longer than the others, but it did burn okay. It did get really small flames again towards the like three quarters of the way. I would say it definitely performed better than the smoked vanilla whiskey. The throw was okay. I melted it with some strawberry pound cake wax, so I didn't necessarily notice it, but it was nice to have that ambiance when I was burning it. Same with a disappointment in throw is from the blends collection, cinnamon spiced vanilla and Paris Cafe. We're gonna focus there. There we go, Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and Paris Cafe. And the notes are rich roasted coffee, vanilla cream, ground cinnamon, cinnamon and sugar crystals right there. This was okay. I really like it on cold. I love Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and I love Paris Cafe. Paris Cafe is such a good, strong coffee candle. But together, it just did not perform, and I am convinced that the Candle Day candles are just not as strong as the other ones. I'm convinced, because this, I barely got any throw from. Oh, I also finished a single wick in Strawberry Pound Cake. And can we also talk about, I believe it's right here, yes, the new signature single wicks from Bath & Body Works. I'm obsessed. Okay, for one, they are still both, so this is eight ounces, and this is seven ounces. You see the difference there? But not only is that a difference, $15.50 for the regular single wicks and $17.95 for the new signature single wick. I know, very pricey. And these will be two for 26, while these guys are two for 22. I'm really not sure if they're gonna be phasing out the mason jar single wick and switching over. I do like the look of these a lot better. They do burn a little bit longer too, but I really like it. I like that they have the silver white barn lid. We will see if they continue. But other than that, this was okay. I burned it in my bathroom. I finished two for my friend's candle company, 1820 House. I finished one of her jumbo rust belt candles in Tough Cookie. I love her candles. They burn clean all the way down. The murkiness on the wax is just because I let it burn until it burned out. She has a plant-based wax, 100% plant wax here. And Tough Cookie is like a cinnamony sugar cookie. I had this burning in my living room. So good, so strong. I love her candles. I love her jars. I love everything about her candles. And I also finished one of her signature candles in Vanilla Santal and Coffee Bean. 1820 Company right there. Burn all the way down. I love this Vanilla Santal Coffee Bean scent. So pretty. You get the coffee, but then you get that vanilla sandalwood in the background that makes it a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more high class. So pretty. I love this candle. Huge, huge, huge disappointments. 
I should have known better that they would, I should have known that they would be disappointments. The new Friday Collective brand. So this is like a sub-brand of the Yankee Candle line, meant for like younger people. I essentially, you go on their website, you take a quiz, and then they like rate candles for you. I got two single wicks and two three wicks. I finished one of each. No throw. Insanely sooty and dirty. Like, look at this. Insanely dirty and sooty. Gross. The three wick performed a little bit better. The jars are okay, but they get like super fingerprinty. So this is the three wick in late nights. And this is the single wick in shower playlist. So I burned this one in my shower, well, like in the bathroom. And this one I burned in my bedroom. Nothing. Late nights. It doesn't even have the descriptions on these, but I mean, these were horrible candles, like horrible candles. I really haven't heard anybody talk about this brand and I see why. They're pretty trashy. They really are. I mean, I don't know if they're aimed for, like, the teenager and, like, they're just like, oh, I like the aesthetic. But even then, I feel like a teenager's aesthetic is not this. Like, the bold packaging, the, like, ombre glass. Alexa, stop. I don't know. Just not a fan overall of these. So, would not repurchase. I have two more to burn through and then... That'll be gone. And then the last candle that I finished is the Diptyque New York candle. Now, I will say, this one I burned in my bedroom on, like, a cool night as the last burn. So, it did not, like, it, there's definitely, like, a little bit of tunnelage, but it's right at the end. I love this scent. It's spicy. It's incensey. It's cinnamony. It is perfect. And I will pop this out, put this in a warmer, and then I will clean up the jar and use this jar because like, look, it's New York. It's beautiful. The new Bath and Body Works candles are $32.95 for the Valentine's Day. The regular one is $29.95. A dip tea candle is $72. So two Bath and Body Works candles is almost the price of a dip tea that are so much better. Just putting that out there. All right. So anyway, those are my candles. Now let's move on to the Scentsy. I'm so happy I finished a brick. I feel like everybody who knows Scentsy and talks about Scentsy feels super accomplished when they can finish up a brick. And like at first I'm like, that's not that much wax. I'm sure I could finish it up. It takes you forever. I cut a brick cube in half. And if you're unfamiliar, this is a bar. This is a brick. This is about almost six times as many, six times, six bars in a brick. And this one is part of my Scentsy Club. And this is in Baked Apple Pie. Honestly, this is from 2020, so going on three years old, I love baked apple pie. I love the sticky apples. It definitely does not have a pie crust note to it, though. And a lot of people say that. It just smells like sticky cinnamon apples. But I think after three years, the scent was, like, almost gone because I barely got anything from this, which made me really sad. I did it a couple different times, sometimes in my bedroom, sometimes in the living room, and I have... A Welcome Home and a Luna Bar or Brick from 2020 also. So I definitely want to use them up. I also finished two bars in Fireside Chats. This was from the Sense of the Season collection last year. I liked it. Not enough to club it or to repurchase it. It was like a smoky, incensey firewood scent. But I prefer Around the Campfire over this because I like, like the toasty marshmallow. So this was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. It was nice and strong. Lasted the day. This is such a sexy heartbreak. I did not add it to my club. But who would have thought that this would ever be discontinued? Almond croissant. I love almond croissant. I finished two bars. One was definitely getting old. Like, look at that. Look how yellow it was. And that doesn't, it doesn't have like the imprints on it. But I love almond croissant. It's a warm, fresh out of the oven croissant with sliver almonds. It is so yummy, so delicious. It wasn't eligible for voting in Bring Back My Bar this next round, which by the time I upload this, I think tomorrow the 13th is the last day. I'll leave my link to my website down below if you want to vote or pick up some bars. And yeah, it just, it's so good. And I hope it does return sometime. That was it for like non Bring Back My Bar Sensies. I finished nine bring back my bars out of 25. There's so many that it's so easy to tell. This is the only one that I'm not sure if I want to add it to my club or not. 
and it is Quiver. Now, at first, I didn't remember this, but once I melted it, I totally do. It's definitely, like, perfumey, a little bit sandalwoody, a little bit fruity, but not, like, like, fruit fruit. It's very nice. I liked the throw. I just wish it lasted a little bit longer. Now, I tested all these Bring Back My Bars in my bedroom. I have three warmers in my bedroom, one on each end of my um, TV stand, and then one by my bed. I do three cubes in one, three cubes in the other, and then two in the one by my bed. It's the Lit From Within, which was called Poised Warmer. And then I have the Salerno Warmer, and I had the Aziza Warmer, but it actually exploded. The dish, like, pow. So I got a replacement. It's on its way. So now I have... What do I have in there now? Oh, the uh, Moon Over Jupiter Warmer, which I also really love. Um, and yeah, it like lasted the day and that was it. So I'm not 100% if it's going in my club or not. I might add it just because I really do enjoy it, but it, I'm not sold on it yet. One I am absolutely sold on, 100% going in my club, is Pima Cotton. For one, three days in my bedroom. I turn them off at night before bed. Returned it on, same throw for two days. The third day definitely was a lot lighter, but it's beautiful. I love Pima Cotton. This is the exact dupe of the Yankee Candle World Journeys collection from years ago, Egyptian Cotton. They never really launched in stores whenever I was shopping there. They were only at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And anytime I picked them up, they were always in two wick jars, like the old paraffin or modeled wax. This smells just like it. Super nostalgic, super strong, like fresh cotton sheets. It is so good. Definitely two bars. I have a quarterly club, so two bars quarterly of Pima Cotton because I love it so much. All right, let's get to some disappointments. Vanilla Cream. I wanted to like this because I wanted this to be like a really nice, creamy vanilla. And it was... But on warm, it developed like a plasticky note for me. I did not care for this at all. It was kind of funky. I was like, what is that smell? I don't understand. So yeah, I, I'm not going to add this to my club. I did not love it. I wanted to love it, but I did not. I think this had to have been the biggest disappointment out of all of them. Perk me up. I barely got a day out of this. And it's a coffee scent. The coffee scent that it is... Is a really nice, what is it, like Guatemalan coffee, hazelnut, and like cream. I really love the smell on cold. I barely got a day out of it. Barely, barely got a day. So, would not repurchase that. What I have going today, day two in my bedroom, is flirtatious. It's absolutely going in my club. I love this. Every time I walk into my room, I get happy. It's fruity, it's perfumey, it's nostalgic. It's the one that I remember... The next two I'll talk about are the ones that I remember the most. And this is so good. Apple, grapefruit, fruity, sparkly, a little bit girly. I mean, the name Flirtatious. I love it. It's definitely going in my club. This is another one that I remember very vividly. Cranberry Muffin. Now, I did have one of the bars that had, like, the brown specks on the back, which was, like, recalled or uh, pulled away. And I don't know if that affected this. It was definitely good, but it was not as strong as I remember. But I'm just thinking it's that bar because this always used to be good or a little bit longer cure time. I'm definitely adding this to my club. And for one, look at how cute it is with the little muffins and the rolling pin and the spatula and the whisk. Such a cute bar. I need this in my life all the time. I love cranberry muffin. It's so, so yummy. Rum Raisin Cookie. This was really funky on warm. Very funky. It definitely smelled like, like raisiny. I definitely prefer Walnut Raisin Muffin to Rum Raisin Cookie. And the spice here was just a little bit odd to me. I, I did not love it. Same with this. Fried Ice Cream. No, no, no. This was what? Way too cinnamony. I wanted more vanilla. And even here, like, it, it leans craft store. Like, it definitely leans craft store. Definitely prefer churro churro over fried ice cream, even though churro churro is not that strong. It's just, I definitely prefer that over fried ice cream. Last but not least, pear blossom and cucumber. I love the way this smells on cold. Just did not last that long. It lasts like a day to barely a day and a half. But what did smell in the warmers was beautiful. Very light, very crisp and clean and fruity. 
I really, really, really liked it. Again, I just wish... Can I open the damn clam? I just wish it was a little bit stronger. So maybe I'll add a bar to my club and like sit with it and that see if it cures and if it lasts a little bit longer. But otherwise, I did really like it. It was really pretty. So that was my scenting and my candles. Let's move on to the vendor wax. All right, I have my basket right here. There is no rhyme or reason as to, I didn't organize it by vendor. I just popped it in and here we go. The first thing I have is Beach Treats from Teddy Bees. This was in a souffle, poured September 22nd of 2021. So going on two years old. Vanilla marshmallow, whipped cream, white magnolia, dark chocolate orchid, and driftwood. Our version of Bath and Body Works Beach Nights. I love Teddy Bees Beach Nights. I loved this. I did it in this room. Lasted definitely the day. I really enjoy Teddy Bees Beach Nights. I did two Sassy Girl Aromas. You would not see this haul. This was when I was just not hauling. Like, I hauled, but I didn't film anything. And these were newer pours, but I dropped the box on the ground, and they were, like, super broken. And I just did not want to store them. So this one is Dash of Sanity. And this guy is Salted Caramel Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This was beautiful. I did the entire brittle in my dining room, living room, and kitchen. But I did it early in the morning and at like four o'clock, gone. So it didn't last the day. But what did was a beautiful scent. It was like a caramely blackberry jam butter cookie waffle. The blackberry jam butter cookie, I'm obsessed. I love that. This, another one I love, which is Young Frankenstein. So it's wild berries, cream, zucchini, sweet cherries, coconut, and creamy vanilla. So essentially it's serendipity zucchini and wild berry cream this was so good it was also beautiful and these guys i got october 22nd so not a ton of cure time so maybe they, that's why they didn't really last as long but this definitely lasted longer and what i smelled was beautiful i love serendipity for somebody who doesn't love cherry scents serendipity is for me all right Roast me at the stake for this one. I do not care for this. Khaleesi from Teddy Bees. This was in a tub. Just thought it was very boring. This is Palo Santo Tonka Bean Oud Wood Warm Vanilla Sugar and Fireside. I wish it was a little bit more smoky. It was kind of just like a generic, like warm Palo Santo scent. I did half of the tub in my living room to see maybe if less is more with Teddy Bees. I'm still learning with Teddy Bees. I do get great performance from her wax, but I just wanted to see with this one and it did not perform. So I did the other half in here in my office and it just was like very mellow, nothing crazy. This one I did today in my living room, Escobar. Now Escobar is a blend of beach treats and Palo Santo. I loved this. I changed the wax about four o'clock because it just fizzled after that. But what I did smell during the day was really good. And that's my issue with vendor wax is it just does not last. This one, cinnamon toast coffee bean a la mode. This was beautiful. This was a layered tub. And this was brown sugar, cinnamon, buttery pastry dough, vanilla buttercream layered with coffee bean ice cream, vanilla waffle cone, whipped cream, and caramel. This was ooey, gooey, yummy, rich, thick, cinnamon toast, and coffee. I loved this. I would repurpose this. This lasted all day in my living room, dining room, kitchen. I loved it. Blackberry butter pecan cookies, another one that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love blackberry jam butter cookie. And it's essentially that with butter pecan waffles. So like pumpkin pecan waffles. So good. So good. Lasts forever. Blackberry jam butter cookie, to me, I've said before, just comes alive in the warmers. And it's just like you're baking the most delicious decadent cookies with that amazing blackberry jam. I love that oil. Next is milk cookies and zucchini bread. Her cult following milk and cookies. I do have that tub on its own in my basket to melt this weekend. I really do like that scent. I don't love it mixed with zucchini bread. It is creamy vanilla, powdered sugar, sweet milk, buttery cookie dough, blended with zucchini bread. I just don't love her zucchini bread. It was okay, but I think I just prefer the milk and cookies on its own. I did from Empire Alchemy, 7th and Fig. This was an Empire bag, 
And this is Strawberry Shortcake Fig Jam Rhubarb and Citrus Bakery. I did this in here two different times. And it just kind of smelled like citrusy. Like, I wouldn't say it was anything special. It was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. I did two... Uh, Oh, here's another um, Teddy Bees. This is Trickin' and Treatin'. I didn't get anything from this. This is Purple Sugar, which is pink and blue sugar mixed together. Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds and Vanilla Cake Pops. I love this because it truly smells like a Starbucks Vanilla Cake Pop. Like, 100%, that's exactly what I get from this. Like a true, rich, authentic cake pop scent. However, I just didn't get any performance at all from it. Zip. Melted Moose, Cindy Lou. This was basically unscented. This is from December 2021. I am not having good luck with Melted Moose. And frankly, with her new way of ordering, I'm, I have no desire to order from them anymore. Pink Sugar, Cotton Candy Frosting, Candy Canes, and Marshmallow Fluff. Yeah, I was not impressed with this at all. I barely smelled it. I use this as nighttime melt next to my bed, and I could not smell a thing. I did from Super Tarts. I did Suki. I liked this. This is gingerbread, yellow cake, applesauce, and buttercream. It was nice, but I could not, like, detect what it was. It just smelled kind of like a creamy background bakery scent in my warmers. So it wouldn't be anything that I run out and repurchase. Next is churro cakes. Now, churro cakes from Teddy B's is cinnamon and sugar, funnel cake, and buttercream icing. Didn't love this. This was like a very strong cinnamon sugar forward cake. I much prefer, um, like, uh, the cinnamon toast one. From Tea Time Tarts, this is cigarettes after sex, which is white birch and smoked vanilla lace. I don't like Tea Time Tarts. The wax is really funky. It's really soft and squishy. And... Whenever you melt it, I, like, barely got a throw. So, not a repurchase. I did a small scoop from L3 Waxy Wonders in Benny and June. This is, like, a, what, fruity, like, French baguette set. I liked it. I This is old. This is from June 2021. So, old, old, old. But it was okay. It was nothing to write home about. It just smelled like a fruity, bready scent. I did it in here in my Scentsy Warmers, and it lasted most of the day. I did, from Fantasy Wax, I did a, two different samples in a hot plate in here one night. I was, like, late night. I was doing some, um, some work on the computer, and I mixed peanut butter and coffee bean together in a hot plate. It was really, really nice. I really liked this combo together. Also from Fantasy, I did one of her snap bars in pretzel and pumpkin pecan waffles. This was nice. I didn't get a ton of throw from it, though. Um, so, yeah. I did... I'm trying to pull out all the other things. I did a small loaf from the Melted Moose and Smoked Blackberry. I did really like this. This is fresh blackberry, sage, charred wood, and leaves, and Palo Santo. This was really nice. I did it in here. I like the color. It was like this really awesome purple color. And it just really smelled like a really rich, beautiful, like earthy green blackberry. So I did really like that. And it lasted most of the day. This was a very rainy 60 degree day. And I was so excited to melt this from L3. This is fresh cut grass, fresh picked strawberries, and a rainstorm. It was a two pack of bunts. I cut each bunt into fours. Did it in eight warmers in my living room, dining room, kitchen. Loved this. This is such a pretty, really unique scent from her. I don't think the fresh cut grass comes out super strong. I think blended with the rainstorm, it just created like a very ozonic, outdoorsy note. And with the fresh picked strawberries, it made the strawberries smell even more lifelike and real because the strawberry was just so green from the grass. I really, really like that. I did for Midnight Daydream Wax Company. This was gifted to me. This is Philhar Magic Pie, fresh baked pie crust filled with rich apple filling. I cut this in half and did it in the two hot plates I have in my kitchen. I don't really know. I did it with baked apple pie, so I didn't really smell that. I have quite a few scent shots from Fantasy. Oh, this one, Ralph. I'm actually doing this right now in this room. I'm burning chocolate layer cake from Yankee Candle, and I'm melting this. I don't love chocolate and wax, and it is very strong, and it smells like brownies in here, and I, I don't love it. Um, I did from 
Vintage Chic Scents, a sample in Casey Becker. This is banana cream pie, blueberry cheesecake, and bakery notes. I like this. This is a very creamy banana blueberry bakery set. So definitely enjoy that one. From Fantasy, oh, I did two... I did in here, in four warmers, I did two scent shots in half. They're the same, they just have different names. One is Wizard Chess, and one is Tea and Cakes. This is Tea and Cakes. Love Tea and Cakes. Love, love, love Tea and Cakes. This was so pretty together. I liked the, like, the hot tea with the moist, rich cake. It was really, really yummy. Really yummy and decadent. Oh, I did Nocturne Alley in my kitchen one night from Fantasy, and it's blue sugar type, just straight up blue sugar. I cut this in half, did half in one hot plate and half in the other. In my kitchen, I have two warmers. They're both the same. They're the Julie Ann Home hot plate warmers that I put on high, and this guy threw all night, threw into the morning. I love it. I love blue sugar even on its own, so really, really, really liked that one. I did the same type of deal like at night before bed throughout in the kitchen. Tafiti, which is a volcano type. And also, these are all of her older formula. These are the soy formula. So I don't always have the best luck with her soy. But in those hot plates, this one also performed. If you're not familiar with volcano, it's like a green citrusy scent. Really, really liked that one. I got through a lot. This is Older Formula Sticky Bun. I talked about this in my last video. I had one more. Same. I did this one in the kitchen this time, and it was a little bit stronger, but it's just missing the bun. This smells very similar to Scentsy Sticky Cinnamon Bun, which I have not started to melt yet because I'm just not ready to smell only straight up cinnamon. I did two Sassy Girl Aroma samples in my bathroom. One day I did Thunder Rolls, which was the other day when it was really rainy. This was nice. It was definitely more like a night rain scent. I prefer more like daytime rain scents. This was a little bit more dark and mysterious, a little bit cologne with the rain. So I did not love that, but this I absolutely loved. Maui Hibiscus Beach. I did this in my bathroom and I do these in hot plate warmers. I love this. This was so yummy. This was fruity. This was very body care, which I think it is the dupe for Maui Hibiscus Beach from Bath and Body Works. It smells like a Bath and Body Works scent. It's beautiful. I really, really liked that. I did a sample from Birdie's Making Sense and Blackberry Jam, Simply Sugar, and Marshmallow Fluff. I didn't smell anything from this. I am trying to do those like Scentsy tester things. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see these in videos. I don't know. I didn't really get any performance. I did blueberry cheesecake one day in my kitchen. I just have a plug-in in my kitchen that I barely use. It's more there for nightlight at night. And then, well, this one was really strong. Newborn nursery. I just wanted to see what the performance of the testers is actually like. This was very strong. All right, that was it for bought for like home fragrance and stuff. I did a few body care finisher uppers from Necessaire. I finished one of their body washes in Eucalyptus. I like this. This was okay. I like the Salter body washes better. I finished a travel size hand cream from Beekman 1802 in Shine Bright. This was like part of their Christmas collection. I keep these minis in my car. Always good to have hand cream. I finished a hand soap from Bath & Body Works in Peppermint Sugar Cookie. I like this. I prefer it in, hand, in a home fragrance than I do in body care or like hand care. Crushed peppermint, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. It was nice. Just didn't feel like my hands felt clean because it was like super bakery. And then I finished one of my favorite skincare items ever, Good Jeans from Sunday Riley. This is so expensive, but it's so worth it. It's a lactic acid night serum. I use this at night and my skin looks glowing and amazing in the morning. I am obsessed. So those were the body care items and that was all of the wax. I know I kind of like sped through. It's because I always finish so much and once my bin is full, I'm like, I need to sit down, film so I can share it with you guys. But let me know what you guys worked on this week, these last couple weeks, any standouts for you, anything that you've tried here that you really like. Sensi, bring back my bars. What are you adding to your club? I'd love to know. And I do have a VIP group on Facebook. If you don't have a consultant and you want to join the fun, I'll leave that link down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. You matter. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys.